Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Before we get started today, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notification uh, button, bell, so you can be notified when my new videos are out. Thank you. Now let's get started. Today we're going to make something that's absolutely delicious and low on calories. We're going to make oven baked fried chicken. This is a chicken I grew up with. We don't have deep fried chicken. It's not something that's very common in uh, the Italian cuisine. So this is our version uh, that we make it. First thing I wanna show you is how to take the skin off. I have these beautiful poodle legs here. And what you need, you will need uh, some paper towel. So go ahead, dry your chicken, okay? And with the help of a paper towel, these are quarter legs, which means it has the leg and part of the tie. With the paper towel, grab onto the skin and just pull. If you try to do this with your bare hands, it's very difficult. Now, the next step, I'm gonna cut, them in, cut it in half, and I wanna show you. This is the joint of the leg. So when you see that indentation, that's where you're gonna slot a cut right through and it's going to be very easy because you're not cutting through the bone but through the joint and there you go the first piece is done so again take your chicken get your your paper towel just pull the skin comes right off no need you don't need the extra the skin on it the extra calories right there where you find the indentation cut right through and there you go it's cut. Now, I'm gonna get that cut in and then we'll start, I'm gonna sh show you what we're gonna put on the chicken. The thigh tends to have a little rim of fat, so go ahead and trim it. And just very easy. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife for that. I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. Okay, the first way is going to be with the extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to um, in the in a big large bowl that the chicken could fit, I'm gonna put about four tablespoons of the olive oil. Okay, then I'm gonna some fresh cracked black pepper. All right, and some sea salt. You wanna do that? Be a little generous because you have eight pieces of chicken there uh, to season. And now the next thing is going to be the juice of, I'm gonna start, this is a rather large lemon. I'm gonna start with the half a lemon and then we'll see if we need a little bit more or less. Okay, even if the seeds get inside, it's okay. Uh, you could remove them or try to squeeze it. This is what I do, where the seeds um, stay in my hand and not in the, in the plate. Okay, I'm going to remove the extra seeds right there. Now, take a fork and just whisk, whisk, whisk. All right, and this is now what you do. So you take your chicken and place it inside and just give it a nice stir so it all gets nicely coated. Now, I'm gonna move this on the side, wash my hands, and come back and show you the second way to do it, and then it, they will both get uh, breadcrumbs. But right now, just let this sit here for a couple of minutes, and let me go wash my hands. Now, don't forget, when you're dealing with chicken, I'm never afraid to use a little bit of bleach with wiping down and cleaning my hands, just to make sure that you don't uh, contaminate uh, other uh, the work areas and other things you're touching. Okay, be right back. The second way we're gonna prepare the coating, I'm just gonna, not too much mayo. I'm gonna say this is about two level tablespoons. So let's do this, okay? It really, the mayo really goes a long way, so you really don't need a lot. I think that's going to be enough. Just look at that. That's really a lot of mayo for it. Again, the salt, the fresh cracked pepper, and of course, the juice, the other half of the lemon. Okay, let me remove 
remove some of the seeds. It already smells divine, the combination. I'm going to remove some of the seeds that went in. Okay. And now we're going to place this chicken in. You know why my hands are all dirty? I'm going, not dirty, but I touched chicken already, so it's all good. Okay, take a look at that, okay? Again, this is already a lot of mayo, too. You don't really need that much. I think two tablespoons would have been plenty. Uh, we could also uh, shake off the excess when we put the breadcrumbs on. Now, going to wash my hands, uh, grab a cookie sheet, a large cookie sheet, put your oven in 400, and meet me back here in one minute. Okay, I have a, a bowl with a flat base, because that's what I want in order to press a little bit of breadcrumbs. Now, I like a plain bread breadcrumb. Do you like flavor? Go ahead. I like a very thin. I usually get my breadcrumbs at my favorite bakery because I love the bread, so I'm gonna love the breadcrumbs. Uh, you could buy supermarket kind. I stay away from the flavor because it gives the, all your food that same flavor of the breadcrumbs, which I really don't like. You want to make your own uh, flavor breadcrumbs? Add some garlic, some fresh parsley, some parmigiano romano, and there you have your uh, flavored breadcrumbs. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to say about, I'm going to start with about two cups of breadcrumbs, okay? Now, here's my cookie sheet. I lined it with aluminum foil for easy cleanup because we're always pressed for time. And I'm going to start with the olive oil drenched chicken. So this is what you do. You basically take the, put, place the chicken in the, in the breadcrumbs and kind of push it down a little bit. You want it to stick nicely. And there you go. There goes the first piece. Same thing with the drumstick. Okay, there you go. No need to grease your uh, cookie sheet either uh, because it, there's enough. It doesn't, really doesn't stick. You want to add a little bit of olive oil, go ahead, but really not necessary. So I'm going to continue this process and then I'll show you the one with the mayo. I'm at the last drumstick, okay? So I'm going to roll it in the breadcrumbs, okay? But I don't want to lose that extra olive oil and lemon, all that beautiful flavor. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to dip it in again and again in the bread pump. So it's going to have a thicker coating, more deliciousness if you ask me. Okay, there you go. Now let's get started with the new one. I'm going to add more bread pumps. Now, don't overdo it with the bread pump because at the end of this, whatever bread pumps you have left, you got to throw them out because you just... Touch the raw chicken in it, and you don't want to take a chance. You're not going to save it. It's, it's that simple. Okay, so here it goes. Look at this. Okay. With the mayo, the, the breadcrumb is a little thicker on it. It creates more of a coating than with the olive oil. Now, take a look which one I put um, which way, so like that we'll remember which one is with the mayo and which one is with the olive oil. So this one I did one, 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 and this one I'm doing two, two. But if you're like me, once you put it in the oven, you'll have forgotten what you exactly did. So I, I guess I could go back on the video and see what I did. Okay, there it goes. And this is so great because you have time. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. It's gonna take a little bit to cook. We'll check on it. Again, I don't time anything, but tonight I will. And that frees me up to make a side dish. I have some mushrooms in the fridge, so I'm just going to slice them up and saute them. Um, not sure. I'll, I'll ask my uh, editor, my husband, the videographer, if he wants to tape that, or we just leave it with the, uh, fried, the oven fried chicken recipe. What do you think? Should we do it with the egg? Okay. All right. He says, okay. I guess he's not very hungry yet, so I'll go ahead and saute the mushrooms too. 
chicken on four, uh, oven on 400, chicken in the oven, in the middle rack, and let's check in a little bit. I have a pan of white mushrooms. You can use the baby bellas, they're wonderful. Don't submerge them in water because they will absorb water and that's not a good thing because uh, mushrooms are all water as it is. So what I do is with a wet paper towel, I just rub any of the uh, soil off. Now, what I have a skill, a saute pan on, I have it on medium low heat and no oil, no nothing, just start, start slicing your mushrooms right in. And what that's going to do is the heat is going to uh, have them release water and that's gonna start the cooking process. It, it really goes quite quick. Uh, so again, just slice all your mushrooms in. I already have the, the pot on. The stem sometimes is full of the soil, so you just slice it off. But otherwise, just with a wet paper towel will do the trick. Once you cut them all, uh, higher your heat on high. So that, that, you know what that does? It releases the water and lets it evaporate quickly. Okay, so take a look at that. See? Look how great they look already. See how the water kind of gets released and evaporated. Do this process for about three, four minutes, and then we will add garlic, garlic sliced olive oil just a large clove or two small ones and i'll go in the garden and pick some fresh parsley and chop it up at the end because it really goes well garlic and parsley goes really well with mushrooms water is all evaporated just let's add i'm going to say a couple tablespoons of the um, extra virgin olive oil large slices of the garlic and now that the water is evaporated, you see that the garlic will start, uh, the garlic and the oil will start frying. And now it's time to saute the mushrooms. I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. I think that should be enough. You hear me sauteing? A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And guess what? They're ready to go. Let me go get some parsley. And I'll be right back. Fresh parsley bunched up, okay? Just like this, I roll it up. And what I do is right over with a knife or a scissor, I snip it and I chop it like this. Quick, easy. Because if you do larger amounts, I know getting out a, uh, a, a big knife and a chop, a, a board, but like this, you don't need it, okay? Now, I'm gonna just give it a final stir. Shut off. The heat and the mushrooms are ready. You know what? I'm tempted to taste them. Bonissimi, delicioso, delicious. Okay, here it is. How good does this look? Wow. So, this is. If I remember correctly, this is the mayo one and this is the olive oil one. As you can see, the olive oil one, um, because the olive oil is thinner coating, so it's maybe not as uh, chunky of a breadcrumb layer, but they're both delicious. Okay, I'm gonna grab uh, this, as you can see. See, it doesn't really uh, come right off. Okay, remove the piece of the lumen too. Gotta be careful. All right, so I'm going to taste it. It's moist inside, uh, so well crunchy. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab the leg from this piece. And you could just ever so um, lightly taste the lemon, which is so great. Both delicious. I really don't know which one is better. It's just a question of preference, or maybe you don't have mayo in the house, or you don't you want something simpler, which is would be the olive oil. Well, anyway, thank you so much. It's great with the mushrooms on the side. It makes a great dinner, and I'm sure adults and kids will love this meal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Until next time, bacio grande. 
alla prossima, ciao, buon appetito! Thank mm-hmm. you.